In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Power Query to extract data from multiple web pages. So in this example, we're going to be extracting match results for different UFC events, uh, and we're going to get those on Wikipedia. So if you go to Wikipedia, there's a page here that lists all the UFC events, and if we scroll down, there's a list of all the past events here, and there's a couple hundred here, so quite a few. And if we just scroll back up, and if we click on any one of these, it's going to take us to the event page, and then there's a results table for each event. And if I go back to that full listing, each of those are in the exact same format. And that's going to be very important for our method of extracting the data. So let's go back to the events page. What we're going to need to do is get a list of all these URLs for all the different events page pages. And to do that, we can press Control U, and that's going to open up the source code of the web page. And if I just go back to the web page and just highlight the first one and copy and just do a Control F and find that, and then I can see all the URLs listed here. So in this video, we're not going to go through how to clean that up, but you could just copy and paste that into a text file and use Power Query to extract all the URLs. And you can do that by just uh, using this href uh, part of the tag to get your links. So here's the, the first link, and here's the second link, etc and the third link. But I've already just got a, a list of a couple of those URLs and we're going to use those to extract data from those results pages. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a query on our first URL. So if I just copy that and go up to the data tab and choose from web and then just paste in that URL and press OK. Then we get this navigator window and we can choose which table we want to import. So here's our results table. So if we select that, we can see our results for that particular URL. And just looking at my preview of the data here, I can see that there's a couple things I want to change. So there's some headings missing and things like that. So I'm going to go and select transform data to fix those. So I'm just going to rename a couple of these headers. So I'm just going to call this one uh, broadcast and here we'll call this one winner and loser and we don't really need this so we'll just delete that column and I think that's everything I wanted to clean up so let's just go ahead and close and load that and we're going to load it to a table in Excel. And we're just going to put it in the same worksheet here. So let's just put it right here and press OK. And there we go. We've got the results from our first event. So that's step one of the process done. Now what we are going to do is we don't want to just pull in one event at a time. What we want to do is pull in all the events into the same table. So how we're going to do that is we're going to edit this query. So right click and edit it. And we're actually going to turn it into a function. So let's go up to the Home tab and click on the Advanced Editor option for this query. And what we're going to do is wrap it in a let statement. And sign in there. This is now a query function uh, and we're passing we're going to be passing in a URL parameter and here instead of this 
URL here. What we're going to use instead is that URL parameter. So we're going to be passing in some URL and then performing this query here and it's going to become our results. So we're done with that and if we go into our queries pane we can see that it's got this f of x symbol here to denote that it's now a function and let's just rename that query so let's call it uh, f results f for function and let's close and load that now what we're going to do is import this data into power query so this list of urls so let's go up to our data tab and import from table or range and now what we're going to do is add a column to this so go up to our add column tab and add a custom column and then we're going to call our newly created function so I'm just going to open up my query pane here so I can remember what it was called and go to custom column again and results we'll call that f results and there was only one parameter for that function we wanted to pass it a URL and we've got a URL here in this column here so let's use that and press OK and then in each row of our table what we have is another table so that table contains the results of each of those matches based on the query that we used in this function so we can expand that table out by clicking on this toggle up here and selecting expand up there and here i'm not going to use uh, that results as a column name prefix and if we just press ok it's going to expand out our results and now we can go into our home tab and close and load this query and we're going to load it to a table as well and let's choose the existing worksheet and just place it right there all right so our query has run and it's loaded 350 rows of data from wikipedia and put it into this table and now I've got all the results for all those URLs that I had in my original table. So about 30 different events. So that's how you can extract data from multiple web pages using Power Query. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.